right, so the next option we're going to talk about under your name tab here is probably the most important of the MyCollab software, in my opinion. Um, it's the manage statuses. So it's really important to understand that your statuses, which is, shows up right here in the client, which you can drop down and change your status if you want. Uh, it's really important to understand that this status actually controls how your phone is going to function and how people can reach you, whether it's during video, instant messaging, whatever. So, And this actually happens real time. So if we make these changes and save them, it will actually change the way my phone will ring or what it will ring out to or so forth. So, so when you first load this up, there'll be default statuses already created. Um, there's a three or four of them already created. Some of these ones that I have in mind are ones I've added throughout the years. So, um, but they, uh, but you'll already have default statuses created. So you'll want to go into these statuses and make sure that they're doing what you want them to do when you're in that status. So like in the office, um, it's going to ask you, what do I want to make my calls from? Do I want to make my calls from my desk phone, or do I want to make it from my cell phone, or do I want to make the calls from my soft phone? So if you say soft phone, then we need to make sure the soft phone settings are set up under the configuration tab we talked about earlier and that they're functioning and your soft phone is connected and so forth, which that's a different video. We'll, we'll talk about soft phone settings and how to set that up. If uh, it's your desk phone, then that's going to be using your desk to make the phone calls when you use the client. If it's uh, your cell phone, the system will actually call out to your cell phone if you make the call. And then once your cell phone is connected, then it will then make the call to the other party. So it'll connect you your cell phone out to the party. So that's helpful to do if you're using this on a mobile client or if you're actually away from your desk. Say you're working from home and all you have is your cell phone, but you have the client loaded on your home machine. You can make receive calls to your cell phone all day long without actually have, having to have your desk phone there um, at, your, at your home office or whatever. So now the other thing is I'm going to say, where do I want to send calls to when I'm in this status? So you can pick this here. You can say voicemail or your ring group. So everybody most likely will have a ring group where you have multiple devices you can send it to. So you can have the, your desk phone. I can make it ring my desk phone, my soft phone, and my cell phone. Or I can make it just ring just my desk phone. So it just depends on how you want it to ring. I have it ringing both of these so that if I'm away from my desk and I'm and I have my cell phone on me, it'll ring out to my cell phone. Then video calls. If you're going to receive a video call from somebody, do you want to accept that when you're in the status, or do you not want to, or you want to appear like you're not available? Same thing with instant messaging. Then under more options here, you can actually get in to very specifics, like if you receive a call from a specific number, what do you want to do with that call? So if you're having a specific number that calls you, that you want to send right to voicemail, you don't want to deal with the call, then you can put that phone number in here and then it'll route the call directly to voicemail. You just hit add. You would put the phone number in here or you might want to just send that call directly out to your cell because it's an important call. So you put the phone number in so it can read the caller ID when the call comes in and then you would tell it how you want it to ring, where you want it to ring to, and then you would tell it how do you want this to ring out. Only if you don't answer, you want it to ring immediately, or you want to create this rule for everybody or, or however you want to create the rule. Okay. Then the phone settings here is when I'm on the phone, what do you want to do with the call? So you can say, um, use your, go send the call to my cell, voicemail. Typically this is usually left at use PBX default because in the PBX we already have it programmed so that if you're, if all your lines are busy, it goes to your voicemail. So then you can also do do not disturb or you can turn auto answer on if you want to turn your phone to where it automatically answers when somebody calls you. So each one of these statuses have those same functionality. So you definitely want to make sure you go through all your statuses that you have programmed currently when you first launch the, the software. Make sure that they're doing what you would like them to do before you start changing your statuses because this will probably cause more grief than anything else, the statuses, because if I change a status here, like if I change this to on vacation and then I close this app completely, it still has my phone call forwarded to voicemail. So I know you can't see my phone that's sitting right next to me, but if I look down at my phone, I'll see right now that it's been call forwarded to voicemail because I have it the status of on vacation. So if somebody called me right now, it, all my calls will go to voicemail. Even if I close this down, my phone will still be like that until I open this application back up and change my status to something else. So from you can manage statuses from here. 
You can also manage statuses if you click on in the office and go down to manage statuses. It takes you to the same spot. And here you can create new statuses. You can make as many as you want. So. All right, so that's managing statuses. Thank you.